Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the MW Tech Channel. Yes, 100 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for such a good support. I mean, it's all it's all yours. I get I'm so happy to have 100 subscribers. Yeah. So, just if you haven't already subscribed, go and subscribe right now. I'll just wait. So, what we're going to talk today? Hmm. Okay, so a lot of people asking me this question, not me, just everyone has this question all right so what is the best phone that i can buy in the market today so what's the best phone that what should i buy yep so it's really easy to answer because there is no such a phone they all are good in a way that it brings this question more hard than a usual questions used to be so in every year these companies is trying to bring their a game every time they are trying to do the best for them and best for us as consumers we are going to get the best out of all these things here comes the real deal these phones are really expensive in their price range that you need to understand why you are spending your money your good money in these products in higher end that's why i'm here to enlighten you to make your decision more easy so the real question is just buying a thousand dollar smartphone is worth it no it's not the 2020 flagships are very high end you just get the all the specs that you dreamed of but at one point these things does not matter anymore yeah i also love extra specs in my iPhone like extra 40 megapixel on my camera 16 gigs of RAM at the, at the end of the day it doesn't make any difference the main thing that makes difference in this decade is the software everyone is trying to push their limits in every aspect in the hardware 10 cameras and they're trying to pass their best chips their processors are great pushing their hardware side so much but the thing is that they should do the other way around here the apple getting more points for because they just they in their 6s let's take 6s iphone 6s still getting the software updates without and delay still today so the most of the things that goes under the radar is a lot of android phones are outdated because of not because of an hardware issue or the battery is gone out like that because of no proper software updates okay when you are considering a price point the budget phones are even good enough these days i mean there are a ton of manufacturers who's targeting the budget phone these days like 200 to 300 dollars phones even the pixel 3a which is 400 dollars even good enough without sacrificing a lot of things like the major components like the camera like we can see the competition between these companies and they're trying to be like oh we got four cameras oh we got three cameras we got this chip we got that chip and we got like many things we got the headphone jack we don't have the headphone jack we got iPods we have this mode we have that mode and all the things at the end of the day these are really expensive and they have to justify the consumer the iphone 11 pro max so it's a great phone but yeah it's not a great deal the samsung s20 ultra 5g great phone but spending thousand dollars or more than that just not not worth it you just can't find the most just you can find that the most suitable phone for you i mean just if you just do not compare yourself with a smartphone the smartphone is a device do not under do not let it control you just use the stuff in a great way if you are a heavy user like a businessman or a, a one which is using the phone like pushing the limits of your phone then they, there are phones which are in a higher end you can get the higher specs because you need those things to do your work or if you are a gamer you have the small phones like the rog phone so that depends on you who you are and what are you doing and said that all the phones in the world is not for you just there are people who need those things if you need those things you can get it so if you don't need those things just do not waste your good money just just keep that thing 
for for better things for better better deeds to do better things yeah so if you are an usual consumer that just goes up in the instagram scrolling up and down sending emails just playing so like games like uh, mm, if you're an usual consumer just think your potential just if you have money just I don't care I'm not talking to that person I'm talking to the person who okay just I have this budget so how can I feed my budget to my level and bring take that extreme or the best specs that I could buy in that price range so I'm talking to that person who's just trying to figure out what is my financial it's for this is for everyone just think and spend your money spend your good money in what you're doing so that's been it thanks for watching if you like this video make sure to thumbs up give us a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed now do it smash it like in the 2020 style and i will see you the next one have a nice day Oh my goodness. That is a hand, I see. Quarantine special. So good. Bolt. it over let's finish this yeah let's get over